Hello to you all. I hope you all had a lovely, lovely week and welcome to another six round pub quiz. If it's your first time here, then welcome to my channel. It's a six round pub quiz, really easy to play. I'll explain all the rules and the rounds as we go along. I just recommend if you want to play along and keep track of your score as many, many people do, go and get yourself a pen and paper. It'll make life a whole lot easier. So we'll begin the quiz by revealing the answer to last week's tiebreaker. A little bit of a different question. The question was, how many did my team, we're only a team of three, score at my local pub quiz out of 60? A lot of people thought I'd score higher than we did, so I might need to drop the quiz master and just call myself tail. So uh, it was out of 60, and we actually scored, a few people got it, 42. Please don't judge. Um, I have now set up a Facebook page. Uh, the, the group is called Quizmaster Dale. I'll try and put a link in the description. But if not, if you're on Facebook, type in Quizmaster Dale, check it out and give it a go. See if you can beat our score and let me know if you manage to do so. So it did make a difference to the leaderboards. So we'll now look at all the single players, everybody who finished between fourth and 10th. And there's a list, 17,612 players, so a very, very good job if you made it on there. Some cracking scores, a lot of you know your Disney, uh, really well done to you all, very good. So we'll look at the individual who finished third last week, is Adam with a brilliant 62, well done Adam, really good, uh, well done to you, I hope you're having a lovely holiday as well. Second place is Louise, superb 63, well done Louise, very, very good indeed. And the top score is Domquest. I smashed it, 65. Well done, Domquest. Very, very impressive. Well done to you all. And a big thank you to all the single players who played, liked, shared, and commented on the video. Really is appreciated. So we'll move on to the teams. Everybody who finished between 4th and 10th. And there's a list. Very, very well done to you all. Uh, also, last week, I put um, Holly and Jason in twice. It should have been Toto and Nicole. Got 64. So well done to you last week. And well done to everybody this week. In third place is STP with 64. Well done. Really, really good. Second place, back with a bang. Lee Suman Stan, 65. Well done to your team. Very, very good indeed. Just pipping you on the tiebreaker is Rob and Danielle, 65. Amazing. Well done to you. Really, really impressive. Uh, well done to you all. And again, a big thank you to all the teams who played, liked, shared, and commented on the video. Really is appreciated. Okay, a few things before we get started. Uh, the first one is a happy 16th birthday to Tyler. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful time. Has some really uh, cool gifts or, or money, 16, maybe it's money. Hope you're having a great, great day. Uh, also, happy 26th to Rachel. What an age to be. Hope you're having a lovely, lovely time. Lots of fun and have been spoiled rotten. And the last one is happy 67th to Gaylene. Hope you're having a lovely, lovely time. Um, yeah, again, I hope you're being spoiled rotten and having a lovely, lovely weekend. So happy birthday to you all and enjoy yourselves. And one last thing. I had a message from Laura who would like to say a very special thank you to, I'm assuming it's her husband or partner, uh, Paddy, who's been looking after her and the kids while she's recovering from a broken ankle. So well done to you, Paddy. The world needs more people like you. I'm sure it's been very, very exhausting and I hope you get a rest too soon. And uh, I hope you're recovering well, Laura, all recovered. So good luck to you and your family. Okay, moving on to this week's quiz. There are six rounds. Round one is a picture round. Round two is an entertainment round. Round three this week, the double points round is a music round. Round four is the connections round. Round five is a true or false round. That was a lot of fun to make. And the final round is a general knowledge round. I will give you answers after round two, after round four, and after the final round as always. Hope you enjoy and good luck. Okay, round one is a pitch round. There are 10 pictures of famous people, places, etc. And you have around 14 seconds for each. Number one, can you name this TV or movie star? Number two, who is this from the world of music? Number three, name the sports star. Number four, who is this a picture of from when they were young? Uh, the clue, it's an actor.
Number five, which company has this logo? And number six, which well-known person have I warped? Number seven, can you get the song title from this image? And number eight, um, name the country from this flag. And the clue, it's a South American country. Number nine, name the film. And the last one, what is this a close up of? Okay, round two is the entertainment round. There are 10 questions and you have around 15 seconds for each. Number one, which model appeared in the music video to the 2003 song, Stacey's Mum? Number two, which British actor has been cast as an Oompa Loompa in the upcoming Wonka film? Number three, and I don't want the world to see me because I just don't think they'd understand. When everything's made to be broken, I just want you to know who I am are the lyrics to which 1998 song by the Go-Go Dolls. Number four, can you name the cartoon from these characters? And number five, Emily Blunt is married to which actor? Number six, Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem were the house band on which TV show? Number seven, which actor played the Tooth Fairy in a 2010 film of the same name? Number eight, Blinding Lights was a 2019 hit song for who? Number nine, Leonardo DiCaprio won his Best Actor Oscar for his performance in which film? The Revenant or Catch Me If You Can? And the last one in this round, Hans Zimmer has won two Academy Awards for Best Original Score. One was for June 2021. What was the other, Gladiator or The Lion King?
Okay, that's the end of the first two rounds. I hope you're enjoying it and scoring well so far. If you are enjoying it, please just take 10 seconds out to click that like button. I asked last week and many, many of you did. So big thank you if you did. It made a huge difference to how the video is promoted. I didn't realize it would be that vast. So again, thank you to everybody. And please, if you are just 10 seconds, it would be very much appreciated. Anyway, I will now go through the answers for the first two rounds. Round three and four will follow immediately after. Okay, the answers for round one. This TV or movie star is... Sophie Vergara. Number two from the world of music. Buddy Holly. Number three, the sports star. Quite a difficult one. That is John Jones. Number four, this is a young, very good job you got this one, Anthony Hopkins. Number five, the company that has this logo is Bang & Olufsen. And number six, an easy one for you Hulkamaniacs. It is Hulk Hogan. And number seven, did you get the song title? I heard it through the grapevine. Number eight, it's the national flag of Venezuela. And number nine, the film, another one I enjoy, it's Shaun of the Dead. And the last one, number 10, is a close-up of an inflatable valve. If you put something similar, uh, give yourself the point. So the answers for round two, the entertainment round, which model appeared in the music video to Stacey's mum? Rachel Hunter. Number two, which British actor has been cast as an Oompa Loompa in the upcoming Wonka film, caused a bit of controversy? It's Hugh Grant. And number three, um, these are the opening lyrics to which 1998 song by the Go-Go Dolls? It's a good song as well, is Iris. And number four, did you get the cartoon from these characters? Uh, Penny and Brian, Inspector Gadget. And number five, Emily Blunt is married to which actor? She's married to John Krasinski. He will always be Jim from The Office for me. Uh, number six, Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem with a house band in which TV show? Very well done if you said The Muppet Show. And number seven, which actor played the Tooth Fairy in a 2010 film of the same name? That was Dwayne Johnson, or The Rock. And number eight, Blinding Lights to a 2019 hit song for who? And this is how he spells my name, it's not just my bad spelling, it's The Weeknd. And number nine, Leonardo DiCaprio won his Best Actor Oscar for which film? That is The Revenant. And the last one, number 10, Hans Zimmer has won two Academy Awards. One was for Dune. Which one was the other? It was The Lion King. Uh, good soundtrack, but uh, surprised it didn't go on for Gladiator. I do like that one. Okay, round three is a music round. This is a round where there are two points available per question, so 20 points up for grabs. The way the round's gonna work, very easy. You're gonna see a still taken from a music video. You'll get one point if you can name the song. You'll get another point if you can name the singer or the band who sung the song. So very easy to play, maybe not easy to do. I've given you 20 seconds for each, uh, each one. I'm sure that's enough time. Hope you enjoy and good luck.
Okay, round four is the connections round. For those of you who haven't played before, the way this round works, you will see four questions. You'll get one point for every correct answer that you give, and then something links the answers to those four questions. If you can find that link, connection, you will get another point. So there are five points available in total. Um, I've given you, you've got about 15 seconds for each one, and then I'll give you 25 seconds at the end to try and figure out the connection. If you need longer, Feel free to pause it for a minute or two. Have a guess at cracking that connection. If you don't get it after two minutes, uh, just move on. Anyway, I hope you enjoy and best of luck finding that connection. Okay, the answers for round three, the music rounds. Number one, the singer is Madonna and the song is Vogue. So one point if you said Madonna and one point if you said Vogue. Number two is of course Elvis Presley and the song is Jailhouse Rock. Number three, difficult one this one. It's of early 90s, Shakespeare's sister and the song is Stay. Good job if you got that one. Number four. Number four is Meatloaf. And the song is I'll Do Anything For Love. Number five, a modern one-ish, I guess, is Harry Styles. And the song is a Watermelon Sugar. So a point if you said Harry Styles, a point if you said Watermelon Sugar. Number six, big clue is, so the singer is Rihanna. And the song is, of course, Umbrella. Number seven. Number seven is Adele. And the song is Hello. Number eight. It's a fun song, this one. is uh, The band is Wham. And the song is Club Tropicana. The drinks are free, apparently. Sounds very good, doesn't it? Uh, number nine it's, is The Weather Girls. And it's Raining Men. And the last one, number 10, the toughest of the lot, is Fall Out Boy is the band. I like this song as well. It's Dance Dance. So very good job if you got most of those. So the answers for the connections round. Number one, Blank Day is an annual event held on the 22nd of April. It's Earth Day. Number two, which game son console did Sega release in 1994? That was the Sega Saturn. Number three, M&M, Skittles and Snickers are all manufactured by which company? They're manufactured by Mars. The last one, the real tough one, the song Baby is Cold Outside was popularised in which 1949 film? That is Neptune's Daughter. So if you didn't get it before, I'm sure you have it now. What connects Earth, Saturn, Mars and Neptune? They are, of course, 
or the name of planet. So very, very good, good job if you found that connection. Okay, that's the end of round four. I hope you found that connection. Question four in that connection round was very, very tough. So if anybody got Neptune's daughter, well done to you, a real difficult one to get. So we're now going to round five and six. The answers will follow immediately after and there will be that tie break at the end. So watch out for that. Okay, round five is a true or false round. This round was a lot of fun for me to make. It's very easy to play. You're gonna see 10 statements on your screen. You just need to say whether they're true or false. That simple. I've given you 15 seconds for each one. But if you need a bit longer, if you're undecided, feel free to pause it, take as long as you need, and then move on to the next question. Best of luck. Okay, the final round, round six, is the general knowledge round. There are 10 in total to do, and you have around 15 seconds for each. Number one, Breaking Dawn was the last novel in which series of books? Number two, name any year that John F. Kennedy was president of the USA. Number three, two fat ladies is the bingo call for which number?
And number four, which flower appears on the imperial seal of Japan? And number five, Tiger Woods won his first golf major in which year? So you can be two years above or below with your guess. And number six, what are the two main ingredients in the Indian dish Sag Alu? You can get a half a point for each. Number seven, what is the largest muscle in the human body? And number eight, which Nintendo video game first featured the character Mario? And number nine, on which date in 1912 did the Titanic sink? Was it the 14th of March or the 14th of April? And the last one, number 10, two Asian countries begin with the letter L. Laos is one, name the other. Okay, the answers for the true or false round. Number one, Haley's Comet is named after the band Bill Haley and his comets. It's false. It's uh, actually the other way around. Number two, despite being the fourth largest country in the world, China only has one time zone. That is true. And number three, John Tyler had 15 children. True. Number four, the megalodon is the largest animal that has ever lived, is false. It's actually the blue whale. And number five, French fries originated from France. False again, um, Belgium, apparently. I would have thought the USA. Number six, Albert Einstein was once arrested for stealing electricity, is false. And number seven, the Eiffel Tower gets taller in the summer is true it's made of iron so uh, expands not sure by how much and number eight in the 40s a chicken called mike lived 18 months without a head it's actually true if you don't know the story there's one thing you do this weekend weekend is read about it it's brilliant uh, number nine cleopatra lived close to the time to pizza hut as to when the pitch, uh, pyramids were built is true as well and the last one number 10 a lion escaped from london zoo in 1912 cuddled up to a stuffed giraffe is false, though I so wish that one was true. So well done if you got most of those. Okay, the answers to round six. Number one, Breaking Dawn was the last novel in which series of books? It's the Twilight books. And number two, name any year John F. Kennedy was president of the USA. So anywhere between 1961 to 1963. Number three, Two Fat Ladies is the bingo call for which number? It's 88. Number four, which flower appears on the Imperial Seal of Japan? Don't know why I picked this question, I can never say it. It's chrysanthemum, or something similar sounding. Number five, Tiger Woods won his first golf major in which year? It could be two years below or above. So 1997, so anywhere between 1995 to 1999. And number six, what are the two main ingredients for the Indian dish, Sagaloo? Half a point for each. It's potato and spinach. Number seven, what is the largest muscle in the human body? Is the gluteus maximus. Or the buttock. 
Number eight, which in let's try again, which Nintendo video game first featured the character Mario? He first appeared in Donkey Kong. We'd have to jump over the barrels and save the princess. Number nine, on which date in 1912 did the Titanic sink? It was the 14th of April. Well done if you knew that one. And the last one, two Asian countries begin with the letter L. Laos is one, name the other. The other is Lebanon. Okay, now for this week's tiebreaker. Remember, when you post your score, please add your tiebreaker guess. It could make all the difference. Uh, last week when I did that tiebreaker, the overwhelming uh, feedback was positive. I don't think there was one negative to it. So I think I'll continue in that vein where, you know, people just can't know the answer. It's just pure guesswork. So uh, every time I go to, I do get to go to a quiz, I will use that as a tiebreaker. Sadly, this week I did go and I had to leave early, so I can't use that. So the question this week is in centimetres, how tall am I? I don't know myself, but I will find out for you. So in centimetres, how tall am I? Good luck with your guess. Okay, that's the end of the quiz. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for taking the time to play. Really is appreciated. Uh, remember, if you do want to participate in that quiz that I took part in last uh, two weeks ago, check out the Facebook page, which is Quizmaster Dale, and give it a go. Anyway, thank you again for my hope. You have a lovely, lovely weekend, whatever you do, and see you next week.